Hi everybody, my name is Dennis and I want to show you an experiment uh, showing hydrofracturing in jitter time. Um, the preparation of the experiment will take about 30 minutes. The solidification of the jitter time will take about 12 hours and the experiment itself will take about 5 to 10 minutes. So in the end we will have bottles with gelatine, with fractures, and these fractures are indicated by coke as a contrast medium. In this experiment we were able to create horizontal fractures. As we can see when we turn it around we can see a plane indicated with a coke in the gelatine. We were also able to create um, vertical fractures, also called wing fractures. If I turn this bottle around, we can see there a very fine line. This is the um, fracture plane. There, you can see it above at the um, straw. And if I turn it around, we can also see some vertical fractures below. And there is another one, if I'm turning it left and right, we can see a fine brown line, which also indicate uh, another fracture. So these are the things we are going to use. We need a straw, a beer mat, a rubber glove, a bottle capable of one half a liter, some vodka, some coke, of course gelatine powder, a balance, a wooden screw which should be a little bit longer than the straw, a needle, a spoon, a scissor, some scotch tape, a container capable of one half a liter, two funnels and a little cup. For the preparation of the straw, we need to cut off two fingertips from the rubber glove. And we need to pull them over the ends of the straw so that we can that we get an isolation there. Take a bit of scotch tape to be sure that there will be no big changes in the surface tendon of this. So then we have to check if the straw is isolated. So we take a bottle with water and have a look. If there are bubbles we maybe have a leak which we don't want. So this seemed to work fine. And we do this again for the other side of the straw. It's important to um, create a very high surface tension for the part with will be later on in the gelatine because we want to create a perforation during the experiment. Um, for which we don't want that the rubber glove expands when we are pumping the coke into there. So I think this worked fine. Let's have a check. Okay, no bubbles. And then just take a little bit more of the scotch tape and um, make some more layers so that you can be sure that this will not endanger your experiment. After the straw is prepared, we now have to prepare the beer mat. The beer mat is used to hold the um, straw in a specific position in the gelatine as long as it needs to harden. 
So the beer mat should be a little bit, the hole in the beer mat should be a little bit larger than the straw because we used the rubber glove to isolate it and therefore it's a little bit bigger at the ends. And you also have to um, look that the um, contact between the rubber glove, the straw, and the beer mat is at the same level so that the straw cannot slide into your gelatin when you harden it. Since the straw is now fully prepared, we can continue with preparing the gelatin. Um, for this, we fill up uh, the bottle of one half a liter with hot water. Then we give it into a, in the container of also about half a liter. And have a look how much this will weigh. So this weighs about 425 grams. And we need a ratio of 1 to 8 gelatin to water. So we need about 25 to 30 grams of gelatin. So we can just fill the gelatin powder into the container, 27. Then take the spoon and just mix it so that all of the gelatin will be in suspension and no large compounds will fall. Now take back your bottle, take the funnel and then give your liquid water gelatin mixture into the bottle until it reached um, nearly one um, half liter. So, and it's important that um, the lever of the gelatin is not um, in the um, narrowing part of, of your body. In the last step, just remove the funnel and then try to adjust your straw with your beer mat nearly into the middle. of your ball okay it works and then we have prepared our bottle with the straw and now it has to cool about 12 hours. When the gelatin is solid, at first you can remove your pebbles of course and the straw will not move anymore and then you have to cut off the first isolation with the scissor. So then afterwards this is done. Take your wooden stick and the needle 
and try to adjust the needle at one end of your skewer. And then you can use it to begin to perforate um, the second isolation in your store. So there's the needle. The more perforations you make, um, the better will the experiment work and the uh, less pressure you will need to create fractures. Then when the perforation is done, you can take the smaller funnel and place it on top of your straw. Then you take some of the coke and put it into a smaller cup. Will not need that much coke. So, and then give the coke into the straw. Not too fast. Sometimes it will not flow directly into it, so you use a needle to help there a little bit. This takes a little bit of time. Coke just created some fractures below. There you can see it. There. And now when I'm going to increase the pressure, these wing fractures will extend. Therefore I have to at first to Remove my funnel at the top. So that is done. And now I will apply pressure. And we see the wing fracture expanded along the straw and some bubbles are going up there. Now let's have a look when I'm increasing the pressure a little bit further. We created some other fracture planes which are expanding along the welder. And now we have a leak off at the top of it, as you can see. So let's have a look a little bit closer. So I'm turning this around. And there are three nearly vertical fractures and below the straw we have one large vertical fracture surrounding our straw
because gelatin um, grows very fast uh, fungus, I bought the vodka. So you can use the scissor and remove the upper part of your straw. Then you take a little bit of the vodka and fill it in there. So, that is still a little bit too high. And now you just take the top and close it. Now you have preserved your experiment for some days longer than it will be without.